What's up guys today? Uh, well, I'm doing some boat repairs. Um, I'm gonna clean everything up. Uh, as you can see, I've already started taking off some of the wrap. I've taken off the wrap on the side. Uh, today, I'm just cleaning everything up. Gonna do some, um, some minor repairs and some um, cleaning and painting and sanding and we're gonna re-gel coat. We're gonna, you know, do it all. So uh, when I bought this boat, there were uh, quite a few little cosmetic things and I, I just don't understand why people um, don't fix things the right way. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna go through the whole boat. I'm gonna repair some gel coat. It's got some scratches and uh, there were some uh, just things that were mounted here. Like there was a casting platform on the front where they had drilled holes in the deck. And then rather than repairing that correctly, they just filled the holes. So we're gonna fix that. Same thing with the console. There was equipment, probably fish finders or something like that that was on there. And uh, it just wasn't fixed right. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna um, go through the entire boat, fix everything really, really nice. But I wanted to show you a little bit of before, a little bit of after, uh, and show you what a little hard work will do. All right, well, uh, I'm not going to sit here and show you guys uh, the entire process of sanding and fiberglassing and sanding and gel coating and sanding some more and painting and, well, sanding some more. Uh, I think it'd be really boring. I know that I wouldn't want to watch that. So instead, I'm just gonna show you the before and after. So here it is, this is the before. And this is the after. All right, guys, so here it is, uh, completely redone uh, for the most part. Um, obviously that wrap had to go wrap came off that was by the way a lot harder to get off uh, you know I guess just from the Sun beating down on it uh, it had dried out and so to remove it I had to get a razor blade and like literally scrape it inch by inch it, it was a pain uh, never want to do that again it was rough uh, but I got that off uh, besides I did um, do repairs on all of the gel coat I got that all cleaned up and then I painted it with some bottom side paint, flat black, and then I went on top of that with gloss black. Uh, console, same thing. I went with gloss black on that. But before I did that, I had to repair a lot of these holes. There were holes in the deck, there were holes in the console, just from equipment that had been put on here and then taken off. And so, yeah, I had to do a lot of fiberglass work to get all of that nice and smooth and clean again. But um, yeah, it's, you know, the before and afters, it, it, it definitely shows it's so much nicer. Everything's nice and smooth, but I got that gloss black. I got the size gloss black and then the deck the deck uh, Used to be like this eggshell Color with blue. I absolutely hated it. So I painted the whole deck gray and I think it just looks a lot cleaner a lot nicer I love it. So uh, Beyond that I did add a new stereo to the console. I got that uh, put in there um, I resealed all of these hatches the hatches were you know, they just didn't have that waterproof seal anymore so I had to do that uh, took all of those out um, just a lot of little you know maintenance and repair work uh, but I think overall the boat just came out so much nicer and so much cleaner I still got a little bit to do um, the windshield had a bunch of stickers on there and I got that off but the adhesive is still there so I've got to clean that up uh, and then add some of my own by the way I did add a sticker already yeah got the lost sparrow to match my hat uh, got that on both sides. Had to get the Lost Sparrow on there. I went out with my buddy Jeremy, and uh, he is now calling this boat the Black Sparrow. So, I don't know. I like it. Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> that might be its new name. But, um, anyway, I did take it out. I absolutely love it. It performs way better than expected. Uh, I do have a little bit more work to do, some cleaning up to do. Um, I, I got some paint on some of the edges and some of the sides. But, for the most part, this boat is where I want it. I've got a few 
things that I need to add to it. Uh, first thing I really need to get, as I, I need to get some mapping on here. I've got to get uh, a fish finder with some, some mapping um, because I do plan on doing a lot of those shallow water, back lakes, marshes, and, and all of that. And honestly, I just need a good map to get me through all of that. And um, so that's really the first thing that's got to be added to this boat. Uh, I don't want to be navigating through that blind. Uh, I'd like some kind of reference on depth. Um, there's a lot of places that I know by heart and I, I know how to get through, but the whole idea of this boat is to be able to explore new areas and that's what I want to do. So I need some kind of reference. And uh, so I do got to add a fish finder with some nice um, chart plotting maps, all of that fun stuff. Uh, so that that's getting put on uh, that, that will definitely be the first addition to this boat uh, if you have any suggestions on what to get I know what I like I've used pretty much everything but if you have any suggestions on some good mapping for some shallow water running boats uh, please leave those in the comments because I'm curious what everybody is using right now um, I've been so stuck with the kayak where it didn't really matter if I got stuck because I could just get out and push it around um, so yeah that's got to be added. Got a few other things um, in the future. We're going to be continuing to add on to this boat. Nothing major right off the get-go, but over time, uh, I, I am going to be, you know, it's a boat. You got to add to it. You got to, you know, make it nicer. Got to clean it up. But this is the first step to uh, really making this boat how I want it, how I want it to look. And there it is. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I promise we will get on to uh, fishing out of this boat. We're going to do some videos on that. Tell me what you want to see. Um, it's pretty much limitless. Uh, we can go and we can do some wade fishing videos. We can do some sight casting redfish. We can do some shallow running, you know, marsh fishing. We can do some back lakes fishing. We can fish from the boat. We can do pretty much anything. Tell me what you guys want to see and I will try to make it happen. Uh, I plan on doing as much fishing as I possibly can out of this. Uh, you know, really hitting a lot of different areas and a lot of different types of fishing. So tell me what you want to see first, and I will try to get on it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment below, tell me what you think. Uh, but I've got to get back to working on the boat. I've got some things to do. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.